G'day, welcome to the Simple Cooking Channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make peanut butter bars. These are scrumptious and they are just beyond words, except for the word scrumptious. So let's go. Get a mixing bowl, put in one and a half cups of plain flour or all purpose flour. Then add half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda or bicarb soda. Just mix this together now. Then add one and a half cups of quick oats. You can use plain quick oats or quick oats that have a you know, like honey flavoured quick oats, whatever you like. Now just set this aside for the moment. Now you want to mix this in. So if you've got an electric mixer with a paddle attachment like I do, use that. If not, just use a regular mixer. Now you want to put in, at room temperature, 200 grams of butter. Add one cup of firmly packed brown sugar and half a cup of white sugar. Now you want to beat or whip this on medium to medium high until it's light and fluffy. So that could take three or four minutes. All right, so that's nice, light and fluffy. Now we want to add about three quarters of a cup of smooth or creamy peanut butter. Now mix this in. Now we want to add two eggs, but we add one at a time. So put one egg in, and just mix that in low, on low speed, so it's just combined. And now add the second egg. Now, you want these to be two large eggs. If you've only got small eggs, use three of them. Now add one teaspoon of vanilla essence and just mix that in on low. Now while it's mixing, add about a quarter of a cup more of smooth creamy peanut butter. Now while this is mixing on low speed, gradually add the dry ingredients. Once you've added all of it, it'll be ready once it's combined perfectly. All right, that part's ready. Now I'll just put this to the side for the moment. Get a baking tray, about 15 by 11 inches, and you want it to be quite, quite low down um, because we're going to spread this out in here. Now what you want to do is put down some butter or oil, something just to grease it. You can always use baking paper or wax paper as long as it will go in the oven. Now just flatten this down evenly if you can and I'll just use something like the, the back of a spoon. Now pop this in the oven on about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 180 degrees Celsius for 13 to 15 minutes. All right, now just leave this for about 10 minutes just to cool down a bit, then put it in the fridge for maybe an hour. Because we, for the next part, we don't want this to be hot or warm. Now that this is cooled, melt some chocolate. You can melt any type of chocolate you like, dark, milk chocolate, white chocolate, whatever like that so I just melt it by putting it in the microwave for 30 second bursts and giving it a stir and it should only take about a minute and a bit. Now I've used about 200 grams you can use as much or little as you want. You can spread it all over it, you can put it in patterns, whatever. Alright that's ready. You can just put this in the fridge for about 10 minutes, 
so the chocolate sets and then cut it into pieces and keep eating until there's nothing left. Well, I hope you like these. Yum. Oh, so good. Cheers. Goodness, that is so good. I'll see you next time for my next meal. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>